Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and our Houston Texans franchise in Madden 2003. Today we've got a huge offseason ahead of us. We will also see who wins the Ravens vs. Eagles Super Bowl matchup. That should be a great game. 13-5 Baltimore Ravens vs. 14-4 Philadelphia Eagles. But stay tuned for an amazing draft for our team. You're going to want to stick around for that one. We have a lot of free agent signings as well. A bunch of trades. As you see, the Baltimore Ravens ended up beating the Philadelphia Eagles 32-14 in the Super Bowl. And the Ravens flattened us in a shootout a couple weeks back. And they are well deserving of that Super Bowl victory. Ken Dorsey did end up playing in that game for the Ravens after being injured. And the Pro Bowl was after that. Let me know if you guys want to see me play that next season. I'm not going to do it this time, obviously. But if you want to see that after season three of our Texas franchise, let me know. And I will see if I can do that for you. As always, we will import our draft class as the AFC won the Pro Bowl. Draft class number two from our Mississippi State Bulldogs dynasty. Take a look at David Carr. He is now an 85 overall for the Bears. And he made the Pro Bowl. Carson Palmer went up three. Larry Johnson had a seven overall boost. Now up to an 81. Quentin Griffin plus four up to a 78. And Justin Fargus goes up three to a 70 overall. We have no fullback. That means Lorenzo Neal has retired from the NFL. We're going to have to look to find one in free agency now. Spark Gaffney at 82 now. Willie Jackson regresses to a 76. Bryant Johnson will now be our number two receiver. Billy McMullen goes down two and loses some speed. Robert Morgan and Jermaine Lewis. Wow, minus five. And he lost two on his speed. Billy Miller up six. He had a great season. He had a great season two seasons ago as well. Now an 80 overall tight end at age 27. Clark will be a nice backup for him again next season. Bryant McKinney up to a 93 overall for our left tackle. Steve Hutchinson up to a 92 from a 90. Owen Cruz up to a 95 overall. 27 year old center. Leonard Davis up one to a 93. I'm not sure how, as he allowed 13 sacks last season. He was the biggest disappointment out of our offensive line all year. Edwin Mulatalo up to a 91. Nobody on the defense really went up too much. A lot of guys regressed a lot, especially the older guys. Gary Walker down five. And we need a premier pass rusher because we have not been able to get at the quarterback these first couple years. Kylie Wong goes down two, and he did not have a good season either. We're going to look to get some offensive, I mean some outside linebackers, excuse me. Jamie Sharper goes down one to an 88. Jay Foreman loses an overall, and Gary Brackett, he will not make the team. Hunter Hillenmeyer down to a 58. Corey Moore still had a 58 overall. He actually went up from a 56, but he had a really good season for us. His speed really helped him out a lot. But he's just not going to cut it with that overall anymore. Marcus Coleman up to 84, down to 85. Aaron Glenn, 84. All of our corners are regressing drastically. Ronyel Whitaker, he started the last few games for Marcus Coleman. Didn't move at all. Sean Weston, a free agent pickup that we had late in the year. Went down three. Terrence Holt up to a 74 overall. Mark Roman, he will not be re-signed. Victor Green, down to an 81 overall. Chad Cota loses four overall as well, down to a 70. Both of these safeties up in the age range, 32 and 34 years old. Next to Pace, up to a 76 overall. He had a great season for us. Only missed a handful of kickoffs. Kick power and accuracy went up one each, 93 and 84. Jonathan Kill go up to a seven or a 66 overall, excuse me. And here's our first trade of the offseason. We are trading Leonard Davis and Aaron Glenn to the Atlanta Falcons for a round one pick seven, round three pick seven, and a round four pick seven. And that is a huge trade for us, as we did not have a first round pick. So we traded it away last season for Leonard Davis, I believe. We're also going to trade Victor Green, a third rounder and a fourth rounder, to the Detroit Lions for a, two, a second round pick, fifth round pick, and a sixth round pick. We also did not have a second round pick 
due to trading for offensive linemen last offseason. But that'll move us up to round two, pick two. And hopefully we get some good talent out of that. They do accept it. And one last trade. We trade Marcus Coleman and the Falcons first round pick that we just got to the Carolina Panthers for Charles Tillman and their first round pick at number five. So we now have a top five pick after going into the playoffs and getting to the divisional round. And that's huge for us. We need help on defense. Here's our retired players, Lorenzo Neal and Darian Gordon, both retire at age 33. Darian Gordon, primarily a special teams player for us. Didn't see a whole lot of action on defense. Enos Williams retires with a 90 overall. Shannon Sharp, Rich Gannon, Jimmy Smith, and Garrison Hurst round out the big name players. We're also going to take a look at a couple young guys that ended their careers with injuries. Orlando Huff and Monty Beasel from the Chiefs are done for their careers. On to some rookie scouting. Ken Hamlin out of Arkansas. Sean Taylor, look at this. Amazing notes. Nothing negative about him, except for the kick return is terrible. Well, we're going to look to get him if he falls to us at the number five pick. Resigning some players. Corey Moore we re-signed on a one-year deal, I believe. Gary Walker. We reduced the salary offer, and he still accepted it. We will retain Jay Foreman for another year. And for some reason, Jonathan Kilgo did not want to sign for us, no matter how much I upped this money. So we're going to have to look for another punter in the draft or free agency. Because he just did not want to be a part of our team any longer. Anya Whitaker rejected a couple offers and then we finally got him to sign. And here's free agency. Saw Rodney Harrison on there. When we do extend an offer to him, we need safety help. We got rid of Victor Green. And Terrence Holt is coming into his second season as safety. He's not the greatest. Rodney Harrison, 31 year old, 94 overall. We give him a one year offer to start off. Uh, Ryan Deem, we offer him a contract. Patrick Pass trying to fill in the void left by Lorenzo Neal. Four year, $1.05 million contract offer. Deem is only 25 years old. We do sign Patrick Pass, so we do shore up the fullback position for the next four years. Deem signs on a one-year deal, and Harrison decides to decline that offer. We extend an offer to left outside linebacker Marcus Washington. So we need linebacker help. We also redo our contract offer to Rodney Harrison. Jamie Henderson, cornerback, we offer him. Rodney Harrison does sign with us on a one-year deal for $4.70 million. So we now have a really good strong safety to help out. Now we just need to find some pass rushers and some decent linebackers. We do sign Marcus Washington. He will compete with Kylie Wong for that left outside linebacker spot. And I really don't see it being much of a competition. Wong has reg regressed really badly. And we signed Jamie Henderson, so we get a corner to replace Marcus Coleman and Aaron Glenn. We offer Matt Lear, center contract, and he accepts three years, $1.2 million. We get a backup center, and now on to the draft. And we get the number five pick, and we are going to go ahead and select Sean Taylor, who did fall to us. And you got to think that the Carolina Panthers would have selected him here. His notes are just amazing. 4 3 40, 3 9 5 shuttle, 6.77 cone drill, 6 foot 3, 220 pound strong safety out of Miami. Just an amazing talent. I don't think we'll ever see any like this again in one of these imported draft classes. But we do go ahead and draft him. Let's see what his overall is. Take a look at that at pick number five, Sean Taylor, 99 overall. And I have never seen that before in my life, not in an imported draft class. That is just amazing. And our secondary just instantly got elite with Rodney Harrison and Sean Taylor. 
My goodness. Reggie Williams goes number one to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Terrell Suggs goes to Detroit. Dwayne White goes to Dallas. Phillip Rivers at number four goes to the Kansas City Chiefs. Carolina Panthers select Eli Manning. Derek Johnson goes to Denver. Rex Grossman to Oakland. LeBrandon Tofield to the Cardinals. Darnell Dockett to the Bengals. Derek Strait to the Vikings. Jimmy Willerson to Seattle. Teddy Lehman to Indianapolis. Ken Hamlin goes to Buffalo. Michael Boulware to the Dolphins. Frank Gore to the San Francisco 49ers. Jabari Greer to the Saints. Michael Jolivet to the Bears. Quentin Michael to the Jets. Brandon Lloyd, Chargers. Luke Powell to the Giants. Rashad Baker, New England. Dexter Reed to Green Bay. Demarcus Ware to the Cardinals, Anquan Bolden to the Steelers, Matt Schaub to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. At round two, we will try to select DJ Williams here. Right outside linebacker, another Miami Hurricane. And we're hoping that Jonathan Vilma will drop to us in the third round. But we do go ahead and select DJ Williams. Sean McDonald goes number one in the second round to Jacksonville. So they go two wide receivers. And DJ Williams is a 74 overall for us. And that is very good. Dallas goes cornerback and they miss on that pick with a 69 overall. JP Losman to the Cleveland Browns, 64 overall quarterback. They missed on that one. Wasaka Polite, 83 overall fullback to the Oakland Raiders. Chris Cooley goes to Arizona, 70 overall tight end. Gary Davis, fullback, goes to Minnesota, 76 overall. Jonathan Vilma does not fall to us. He goes to Indianapolis, so we will see him twice next season. Kevin Beard, wide receiver out of Miami, goes to the New York Jets, 75 overall. A lot of teams going cornerback and wide receiver. Eric Coleman goes to the Redskins, 70 overall free safety. And the Steelers go kicker in round two. They select Josh Scobie with a 27th pick. He's got a 77 overall. And the Eagles go punter in the second round, getting Andy Lee with a 31st pick. Round three, we select Will Smith, trying to find that elite pass rusher that we desperately need. Stuart Schweiger for Purdue. If you watch the Bulldogs dynasty, you could see our bowl game against Purdue. He absolutely destroyed us that game. Will Smith ends up having a 74 overall, and he will instantly be a starter on our defensive line. Jared Lorenzen, the hefty lefty, gets selected by the Denver Broncos from out of Kentucky. Minnesota goes kicker with Nate Kading. Cedric Cobbs goes to Seattle. Cody Pickett, quarterback, goes to Miami. Brad Smith goes to San Francisco. Garrett Payton, halfback out of Miami, son of the great Walter Payton. Sweetness goes to the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's got a 71 overall. Round four, we're going to go safety again here. Mo Sykes, another Miami Hurricanes player. So three out of our four draft selections have been Miami Hurricanes. We do select Willie Parker as well. I know we have running backs, but you can never have enough speed. And Willie Parker is a speed burner out of North Carolina. Jacksonville goes half back, and they go Musa Smith. Shante Orr goes to Carolina. Mo Sykes ends up having a 73 overall. He's already almost as good as Terrence Holt at the free safety spot. Denver misses on a tight end. The Vikings go Chris Ricks, quarterback out of FSU, and they whiff on that one big time, 63 overall. Buffalo goes quarterback with Jeff Smoker out of Michigan State. They miss on that. It was 61 overall. Willie Parker ends up having a 72 overall for us, so he's already got a higher overall than Justin Fargus. Ontario Smith, halfback out of Oregon, goes number 20, I believe it was. Ernest Wilford, wide receiver, goes to Tennessee. Landon Johnson, remember that name? Because we do pick him up in free agency. He was released after he was drafted. Round 5, pick 25. I believe we just selected a corner as well. But we do go Carlos Dansby here. We selected Phil Jackson, 66 overall corner. Jacksonville goes offensive line. 
Robert Gallery, Carolina Panthers, 69 overall. Keep your eye on him because they release him. Lance Moore, wide receiver, goes to Arizona. He is also released after the draft. Chicago gets a middle linebacker. Looking for help for Brian Erlacher, 67 overall. Marquise Cooper. Carlos Dansby, 65 overall for us. Willie Simmons, quarterback out of Clemson, gets selected by the Pittsburgh Steelers, 60 overall. You're not going to find a lot of really high overalls late in the draft. Round 6, pick 2. We go DeMarco McNeil, defensive tackle out of Auburn. He had a lot of good games against us in the Bulldogs dynasty, so hopefully that will translate to this game. Round 6, pick 25. And we will go Alfonso Marshall, another Miami Hurricane player. Marco McNeil has a 65 overall. Jacksonville goes quarterback with Timmy Chang, quarterback out of Hawaii, 62 overall. Oakland misses on a tackle, 60 overall, Josh Parrish. Colts miss out on a center, 60 overall. Monreco Cretenden, guard for the New Orleans Saints. That's a great name. Jim Sikora, guard for the Green Bay Packers. Alfonso Marshall has a 64 overall for us. He'll be the fifth cornerback on our depth chart, I believe. Sean Souza, 59 overall tackle. Demetrius Solomon, 62 overall tackle for the Baltimore Ravens. And we are now in round seven. We did not scout this player, but we will go ahead and select Ricky Fowler just based on his size. And Detroit gets a decent outside or middle linebacker, excuse me, with a 67 overall. Kevin Mitchell, late in the seventh round here. I don't think Dallas has made any good selections this draft. Art Turner, tight end out of South Carolina, goes to Cincinnati, 63 overall. Indianapolis gets another offensive lineman there. San Diego misses on a center, as well as the Giants and the Patriots. My goodness. Ricky Fowler ends up having a 59 overall. Not really anything you can ask for in the seventh round here kind of hope you get a gem obviously it did not happen for us there 64 overall defensive tackle for Tennessee that's a good selection there in the seventh round Jeff Womble and mystery relevant Robert Johnson tight end for the Baltimore Ravens 62 overall and that'll do it for the 2004 NFL draft and we got some good players here 99 overall Sean Taylor just an unbelievable event to happen in a series like this. And I don't think we'll ever see that again. But I will let you guys take a look at the rest of the, the draft picks and the signings of the draft picks. But that's going to do it for the offseason of Season 2. Next video will be preseason. I will also show you guys the depth chart to start off our regular season. But until then, I will see you guys in the comments section. Leave it a like, subscribe if you're new. Take it easy, guys. Avenue. Oh.